Okay, this uh, video shows you how to read the program out of a Blackmagic timer. In this example, we have an F1B model, but the same thing applies just as well to an F1A model. First of all, we have our Palm Pilot, and we'll start on Super Magic. This is the program on the Palm Pilot that reads from the timer. And there we have the timer in the airplane. So the first thing I'm going to do, this switch turns the timer on. So we'll turn it on. Now on this F1B model, the programming connector is here out in the front. So we'll plug it into it. On F1A models, it's often inside and you have to take the hatch off. So it's important to make sure that you push it right in and that it seats down. So we have it turned on here. The, the cable's plugged in. Now down on the bottom of the um, Palm Pilot, there's a button that says connect. So you, you push the connect button. There we are. And it says confirm, create, or overwrite. So we're going to create because we're going to create a new one. Okay, so what it did then, you notice it, when we said create, the noise started in the timer, so that showed that the Palm Pilot was connected and transferring the program. The LED flashed, the LED's here at the top, it flashes at the very beginning. The program is transferred, then at the end the message comes up that says it's been transferred, and you touch OK on that message to make it go away. That shows that the program has been transferred successfully from the timer that's in the airplane onto the timer, onto the Palm Pilot, so then you can look at it. Now what you would do next is when, if you get an airplane from somebody else that's got a program in it, before you start modifying that program, what you need to do is save a copy just to make sure in case you make a mistake or you want to go back to like it was originally. So the way that you do that is down in the, on the bottom here we push this and we get menu and you see it says save. We push save and that saves a copy of that program just like that with the date and everything on the um, on the Palm Pilot so that you can bring it back if you need to. So that so then what you do is you unplug this and then and maybe turn off the remember to turn off the timer. So now you have a copy of it here on the Palm Pilot and you can work on that or do things if you need to do that. 